All right, so once again, we're back on the DMC2, and in this video, I'm gonna be readdressing the coolant flow situation. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I added this diverter valve so that way I could better control the flow going up to the coolant sprayer, and ideally take out some of the pulsing that comes from this type of pump. Now, this was a big improvement, but it's still a little pulsy, so I wanted to address it further. So instead of reworking the piping, I thought, why not replace the pump? This pump is a small solar circulation pump, and it has an impeller instead of the other one, which is like a lobe style pump. So this one ideally won't give us any pulsing. So unfortunately, this pump is a centrifugal style pump, not a positive displacement. So I had to order more 12 millimeter air hose. So that way I could route out of the tank down below, so that way it is always sitting in water and then back up into my manifold. I'm hoping not to use the manifold, but I'm gonna leave it for now just in case. All right, so I've got my pump installed. It's plumbed in with plenty of extra hose in case I decide to move it or mount it in a different orientation. I retired the old pump in place in case I need it at a later date or decide that this doesn't work. And I'm wired into the original harness. So I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm going to get this filled and vented and see if we can make some coolant move. So I've got the pump full of water. I just disconnected the inlet and used this syringe and about 100 milliliters of water to fill these two lines and the pump casing. Now hopefully once it starts and I can get this amount of air out of here, I'll never have a problem getting this to prime again because it'll already be primed. I've been able to run the pump a handful of times to confirm that it maintains its prime which it does. It took a little bit of doing at first to get the prime there, but now that I have it, it doesn't appear to be lost. So, you know, starting and stopping the pump, I noticed down here on my DC controller, I have to be up around 90% just to get the pump to spin. Once the pump starts spinning and I have coolant coming out, I have no problem coming down here and adjusting it down. It's somewhere around the 70% mark I get a really nice, really smooth stream, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So if having a nice smooth stream like this interests you, then make sure to check down in the comments below. I'll have affiliate links for all the tubing, the DC controller, and the pump that I used if you want to add this to your DMC2 as well. 